To install the solar controller, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver or a drill driver with a Phillips bit, a hammer and a supply of half-inch coaxial staples available from your local hardware or builder supply. Before installing the solar controller in your attic, it is recommended that you first test and confirm communication between the controller box and the remote. Plug the AC adapter into a power source and then plug it into the house power 12 volt input on the side of the controller box. The LCD should display the temperature and relative humidity. The controller box has two slide switches. The one on the left is for selecting the radio frequency channel and the one on the right is for selecting the temperature readout in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Align the radio channel of the remote with the controller box. Both of them should be on the same channel in order to send and receive signals. Then select your desired temperature readout. Now install the included batteries in the battery compartment on the back of the remote as shown. Then press the status button once and the corresponding temperature and humidity should now appear in the remote's LCD panel. Once you have verified communication between the controller box and the remote, remove the batteries before proceeding with the installation. Please note, when actually installing the solar controller it is important to follow this connection sequence. Connect the controller box to the motor first. Second. Connect the controller box to the solar panel. Connect the controller box to an AC outlet if using that option. Then finally reinstall the batteries in the remote and press the status button to sync the units.